cauliflower, a delicious vegetable that gets no love from the home cook. Today, we're gonna change that. I'm gonna show you how to pan roast it with some brown butter, serve it with capers and pistachio gremolata. Let's start by making your pistachio gremolata. First, take your parsley, take the leaves off the stem and give them a fine chop. It's really important that you use a sharp knife here. A dull one will just beat your parsley into a wet, soggy mess. Give your pistachios a quick chop. You want to break them down so they're about a quarter of their original size. And you could use a food processor here, but you'll probably end up creating a lot of dust and that's not what you're going for. You're gonna need one garlic clove for this recipe. Use the side of your knife to remove the skin from the clove. Slice it and then mince it up real fine. Zest one lemon and add it to the bowl with all your other ingredients. Finish off the gremolata with a fat pinch of sea salt and some Aleppo pepper. Then give it a good mix and set it aside. Now it's time to clean your cauliflower. So start by cutting the head in half and then in quarters. Then remove the core and the bottom leaves. Reserve those for another use, uh, maybe for a stock or even a soup. Now what you're left with is the good stuff, the florets. And you're gonna to wanna to break those up into inch and inch and a half size pieces. Now at this point, you should have your oven preheated to 425 degrees. Then, melt your butter in a saute pan over medium to medium high heat. Now it's time to add your cauliflower to the pan. Stir it around a little bit to make sure it gets coated in all that melted butter. Continue cooking the cauliflower over medium to medium high heat until it starts to caramelize, turning a light golden brown. Then pop it in the oven for about eight minutes until the cauliflower is cooked through and it's darkened in color just a little bit. When the cauliflower is finished, season it with just a touch of sea salt and plate it up. Finish the dish off with some pistachio gremolata that was made earlier, some capers, and a pinch of sea salt. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.